हेलो एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग गुड इवनिंग नमस्ते हाउ आर यू ऑल डूइंग दिस वीक एक्साइटेड फॉर टुडेज स्पायरल आर्ट सेशन इट्स अ वेरी स्मॉल एंड द रिलैक्सिंग सेशन वेरी इजी टू एंड एनीवन कैन ड्रॉ वी जस्ट नीड अ पीस ऑफ पेपर और एनी पेन पेंसिल वॉट यू गाइज हैव आई एम गोइंग टू ड्रॉ इन अ सिक्स इंच बाय सिक्स इंच स्क्वायर पेपर you can draw that square on any printing paper drawing sheet or you can use any pre-cut sheet the sheet which i'm using here is a artist style and it's a pre-cut in a 6 inch by 6 inch square based mainly created for the pattern drawing and for the meditative art i'm going to use a black marker pen and this is a little thick black marker pen i'm going to use for the string which we are going to draw in the beginning and then I'm going to use one pencil. This is a 4B pencil. Any school pencil will work. Any dark pencil, any ebony pencil uh, will work. And one blending device. I'm going to use Q-tip. You can use Q-tip, any cotton ball roll or any blending stamp or the tissue paper, whatever you have. So let's start. And as you all know, first thing first, we always start with the border first. you can draw the border free hand or you can draw the border with the help of ruler it is absolutely your choice how you want to draw it here you go so after drawing the border we are going to divide our string and we are going to divide it into different sections so first we are going to divide it into horizontal half we are going to draw one line horizontally half and then we are going to draw one line vertically half after that we are going to divide this top left corner into again these two are the horizontal half and these two are the vertical half don't worry guys i'll give you ample time to complete the string and we are going to join these lines together Tada this is our today's string now you can draw okay so this is the fun for these kind of spiral art that i am drawing this first time with you guys i have one drawn this earlier this particular string so i have just kept this string in my mind i just decide about the string as you see this is kind of my string chart and i just decide the string before the session and then even i don't know how it will look so that's the surprise element in this uh, beautiful abstract spiral art and no judgment just fun and just be creative and keep drawing hey mom good evening thank you for checking in here so we just made one border divided into vertical and the horizontal half and then divided these two corners in the horizontal half these two corners in the vertical half and then joined these lines let's start the spirals so first we'll start from this top right top left corner and we will start from this top left corner of this block we will go clockwise guys okay If you want you can use a very small ruler to draw all the slanted lines. If you want you can draw the free hand the way I am drawing. I love doing free hand especially when we are working in this smaller sheet. When we are when we are working in a big 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 size of sheets like kind of a very big area so then uh, we might use the ruler in those cases but 
especially in these kind of work, I would prefer to use to draw freehand. And here is a small trick guys as you see like here I see little extra space so we can just fill it with one line some people call it cheat and we call it a trick right so it's a trick if you leave extra space at some place you can just draw one more line why not Keep drawing the slanted lines until you reach to the center of the shape. Try to maintain the shape. Until you have space, that's it. So Ashupriya, and Anvita, I started from this top left corner and I go the clockwise. Hey Ananya. So go to the clockwise. Start from this top left corner. And go clockwise. Now in the second block, we are going to start from this center point here. And we will go anti-clockwise. Keep drawing. Hi, Nikisha. I'm also super happy to see you guys here. So, Nikisha and Ananya, they both are my skill based class students, too. They both are in the graphite art classes. Happy to see you guys here. So we have completed two sections and guys we are going to do exactly the same way in these two, these two, these two and the best way is keep rotating your paper so when you rotate your paper you will get exactly see th these two sections here and every time how we are going to draw the top one we are going to draw from the top left corner and the bottom one we are going to draw from the top right corner okay guys so till then uh, don't forget to write down everyone if you are drawing along with me write down one if you are just enjoying watching me drawing, write down two. I'm waiting, Lavina. Till then, write down either one or two, guys. Thank you, Lavina. Thank you, Gita Anjali. Thank you, Barbara. I'm waiting for 30 seconds. Thank you, Saurabh. Thank you, Priyanka, Jayashree, Anvita, Anika, H. Craft C, Ramandeep, Sonal, Nohar. Rukmani, thank you everyone. Thank you guys. <laughs> Priyanka has wrote one, one, one. Seems like three people are drawing with Priyanka. Awesome. Manisha, thank you Priyanka, Ananya, Raji. So this is exactly the repeated pattern in all four sections. I keep repeating the same thing. So if you miss any section, don't worry. You can leave just that section and you can go ahead start from the top right corner go to the clockwise
if you want you can keep rotating your paper in a way that you get a perfect angle yes you can use glass fountain pen absolutely glass fountain pen will work great in that one just be careful that don't smudge the ink because the ink take little extra time to dry up uh, in comparison to these archival ink pen archival ink pens dries uh, quicker so that is the only thing you should take care of otherwise the fountain ink pen is perfect <laughs> this is so much fun so first top section we drew started from the top left corner and we go clockwise Second section, we will start from the top right corner and we'll go anti-clockwise. Art liner is good. Art liner pens are good. As far as I know, art liner pens are all have the archival link. So, you're good. All Faber Kessel, Stadler, in fact, you know, Sharpie, Thin One, they all are good. Whatever works best for you draws smooth and doesn't smudge. So we are kind of, you know, these two sections, I just rotated all the way to the other side. And so Posca pens are like the color, the acrylic color pens mainly. So Stradler is very good. Unipen, Unipen is good. So Priyanka, um, as far as I know what I have used Posca pens, variety is all the acrylic paint pens. So I'm not sure paint pens are good for these or not because they take little time to dry up and uh, how thin tip you can get from the Posca pens that's also I'm not really very sure but they they have very good variety and colors and for different kind of art form I haven't used Posca for especially for this one but you can try why not if it works then it's great again we are going to do exactly the same thing we are to start from the top right corner I have used Posca pens for my some of my mandala art for acrylic paint. They work very well for the mandalas where we are using acrylic paint as the base and then few fine lines on the top. But generally I have never used those for the uh, spiral art. Spiral art I love using even in the spiral art and the zen doodle and the, spy, and the small mandala also I prefer this pen Pigma micron 08 size and i have these pens in a set of variety like various tip size so to make your work intricate we keep changing the tip size if you have seen my last zen doodle session i used i think different tip size pen in that one to give you the example that how you can intricate your work and keep it easy as easy and as intricate as you want thank you Nuha so guys if you haven't subscribed my channel please leave the chat 
go to the main video subscribe my channel and click on the thumbs up button in that way you will uh, never forget whenever i go live because youtube will give you the notification so if i upload any video or if i go live you will be notified and as i see you all are the art lovers here all are the creative people here so i just want to tell you one thing that in my facebook page nidhi prakash arts facebook page as well as at my discord at both places uh, we have started a uh, october challenge that's a whole october month that's called the inktober actually the jake parcel started it like kind of 2009 but i'm just following him and we have the official prompts to draw one drawing daily like on the 1st of october the prompt is fish so you have to draw a fish Be prompt is fish you can draw anything based on that prompt it can be very very big it can be just very smaller 10 minute artwork and then you have to submit that artwork no rules no regulation just draw something based on the prompt so that ways it will help you to stay in some uh, you know uh, you'll stay in some guidelines and you can manage your time that daily you are spending some time in the creativity so if you want to join you can draw daily you can draw every other day or weekly you can join that challenge with me in the facebook or in the discord or at the both places why not you can join me at the both places then also it's great and you can submit your artwork at both places so to see the more rules and regulations and to see more how to do it and to join the other people and to get more ideas you can search that and guys october calendar is also up october calendar is also already up in my discord as well as in facebook page for these sessions for all these free sessions for the spiral art as well as the mandala art and the zen doodle art for the next whole month october you can see my set calendar there too now i am in the last fourth section and we are going to do exactly the same way we are going to start from the top right corner and we will go clockwise i love doing these spiral art no judgment only fun only creativity keep drawing still you have to be full focused right you cannot just lose your focus while drawing so it's a beautiful repeated pattern as well as you have to be aware also so that's why it gives you the meditative effect or the relaxing effect and like it's it like they also wrote this thing like they are the pattern drawing and the meditative art so it calls the meditative art because you know you keep on uh, focusing you are alert as well as you are just repeating the same thing and you don't care if anyone is saying anything or whatever is happening this is your own me time your own personal time personal creative time uh, so sarav is asking for the name of the artist program and uh, we can play a game of basketball after the session today uh, i already have two people responded as yes for oh. others uh, who want to play with us are welcome to stay back we will have a small game and then we can call it a day okay so guys this is ajay prakash my husband who is the co-host for my session and he helps me in the chat in the back here ajay hello so uh thank you again and uh, he just mentioned that after this session like after this completing this you can play basketball with us on the same screen you see those little avatars they can be divided into two teams and then you have to give the angle and some speed and then you can play the basketball that's a fun 6 minute game i think 6 or the 7 minute game if you want to see or if you want to watch you can stay and play i think one other thing you were asking okay name of this art so saurav these art are just the spiral art there is no name specific for these kind of artwork so 
these all art are called a spiral art if you want you can definitely give one name i would appreciate that this is my 53rd spiral art session and live 53rd spiral art session so they all look pretty similar but yet absolutely different from each other you can add your own elements like you can add colors in them you can add any other uh, you can use gray marker pen you can use white marker pen to give them final finishing you can add any other materials if you have different other kind of color materials you can use them it's absolutely your choice how you want to give final finishing to these kind of artwork now we are just left with these center ones and these center ones are very very simple we are we are not doing any of the tricks today or not any of the variations today we are just doing simple these spirals only and for this one we are first doing this left one please share october calendar and other art engagement program you mentioned so october calendar is already there at my facebook page as well as at the discord as well as at the patreon yes ajay yeah and i just sent a link for the calendar in the chat yes so in these four sections guys i'm working in this top left corner first and i'm going to start from this corner where my finger is and we are going to go clockwise So in particularly this pattern, I have planned to make lots of these fan shapes, as you all know. Okay, who is going to write what two kind of shapes we can achieve in the spiral art? Let's see, you guys, some of you guys are working with me in the spiral art since the beginning. What two kind of shapes we can get from these kind of spiral art? Let's see if you write in the chat. yes one shape is fan what is the other one and with a or any other one if you want to write twisted columns and fans perfect Gitanjali. so in this one i have planned all the fans can you guys see so many fans so that's how we are we have decided like this is the half fan we have to complete it so we'll start from the base of the fan so this is the base of the fan so we have to start from the base of the fan and we will go towards the top of the fan that's how we decide in what in what direction we are going and eventually you know guys when we are going to draw all these uh, achieving these fans we are going to get some twisted columns in the center you can call them shell too but they are kind of like twisted columns and the fan but as i say no rules you can call them whatever you want if you want to call them shell instead of the fan it's absolutely okay you see this twisted column so this is the twisted column here and these two are the fans now I'm just doing this again so in this one again we'll start from this bottom of this fan this is the half fan and we'll start from the bottom of the fan to complete it petals of flowers awesome awesome deepa that is also a beautiful name for these they are looking like petals yes and one of my students called them water droplet that she said that it's kind of the water droplet so you know imagination is the only limit whatever you want to call them if anyone wants to give any other name go ahead And after completing the drawing, the main part of the artwork, the two sections there are at the end. One is the shading and second is the sign and praise. Remember guys? And now I'm doing this. I'm going to start from this top bottom corner again and we'll go towards up. So we are going to get the twisted shells in the beginning in the, in the center and the fans everywhere around 
now there are various ways to uh, you know to give it the final finishing i'm going to use first this thick marker pen which i have used earlier and i'm going to give this these twisted columns here these little final finishing i'm just enforcing these lines you see these twisted columns in the center and then we have these four big fan shapes and these is smaller shapes so i'm just doing in this bow four big fan shapes i'm reinforcing the lines of these four big fan shapes and giving them little you know thick to thin effect little thick from the center and thin from the corner so that we get that beautiful effect strings and fans yes it's beautiful name strings and fans i like this that is the fun of these kind of abstract artwork right you can call them whatever you feel like it's your artwork You can use the same black marker pen, the pen which you are using for the drawing. If you don't have the thick one, only only thing is if we use the thick one, we can just do it quickly. That's it. Oops, I'm sorry. I just, I think shell on my side. Twisty. Yeah, no, her flutes and shoots. Yeah. Awesome. You guys are very creative, huh? giving a name to your artwork is also an art you know guys and i made a lot of art and it's oops my phone got disconnected give me a second guys i'm just connecting it back sorry for that Sorry guys. Okay, so we are kind of done with the all shading. Now, I'm going to do very little bit with, I'm just using one pencil. You can use any pencil will work. If you are using the darker shade pencil, keep your hand light. Otherwise, it will be all way too much black. And I'm just going to use the 4B pencil as of now. And you know, these are our four drums, four twisted shells, or these. Uh, one can tell that they are kind of the pastas. So, you know, you can call them whatever. They are kind of the dice, or the pastas, or the twisted shell whatever you feel like i'm here using one this q-tip for the blending so 
so here you go and orchards yes orchards is thank you mom thank you mom just the inner side of these big petals also and I'm just doing a smaller circular motion like smaller scumbling that's it guys and now the final thing and the final thing is to sign and date and praise right shells and bells yay so today's so I'm just writing my initials and today date is 24 so it is 9.24.20 and now it's time to praise so to praise I just take it in my hand and I say good job Nidhi Prakash you did awesome and we spent wonderful this 30 minutes together creatively and we made a beautiful abstract pattern you guys can say aloud your name pat your shoulder and say some good words to yourself and to your artwork see you guys tomorrow for this mandala art and this sunday for this zen doodle art you can see both videos have been like the both sessions have been planned on the youtube you can get the link if you have not subscribed the channel don't forget to subscribe it so that whenever i go live you will be notified and now is the time to play the basketball whoever wants to play the basketball can stay here and rest we can will meet tomorrow yes ajay over to you all right folks so for those who will be playing with us for the first time uh, this is a simple game. Uh, the, we will divide ourselves into two teams. Uh, the first team name will be Casper and the second team name will be Nachos. In order to join a team, you have to type exclamation join, then either Casper or Nachos, depending on whichever team you want to join. You will have about 10 seconds, 15 seconds, I think, when we start the game to join a team. Uh, post which, even if you type join you may not be able to get in today uh, once the game starts your objective is to score goals for your team uh, and it's pretty simple uh, you will see a place from which you shoot the ball and then you will see a goal post all you have to do is you need to give an angle and the speed at which you want the ball to uh, to go uh, uh, and you will take turns you can uh, so for example if you want to shoot the ball at 45 degree angle at a speed of 50 mph you can just say 45 space 50 and hit enter and then uh, follow your ball so it may be a little confusing to begin uh, but it's a lot of fun uh, you will uh, pretty much understand how it goes uh, the, we are trying this for the first time on youtube i don't really know if it will work if it will work really well uh, hopefully it does and uh, if it does, then we will have this game uh, probably after a lot of our sessions. All right, so we will go okay, on to guys. the basketball scene and I will start the game. Guys who wants to play, click, type, join Nachos at Casper. Like the way I'm joining Casper. Oops. You can join exclamation, Nachos or Casper, whatever you want. So you can join any uh, team, either the Nachos or the Casper. Please write down exclamation, Nachos or exclamation, join Casper. Oops. I didn't write join, right? Put 
Spotify, you don't have to put a dash. You can just say angle, space, and then the speed. So, Lavina, don't put dash in between. Just write one space 180, like whatever you want to write. So, you can see the circulating disk, right? Uh, from this disk, and you see the goal post. So, I'm trying to give an angle of about 120, and then I'll give, give a speed of, say, maybe about a 25, uh, and I should be able to score a goal here. Oh. There you go. Yay! Yay! You can copy the same same angle and that speed too. No, not the oh. next time. Oh, not this time because it has changed. Yeah. It has changed. Uh, so guys, as you saw, I gave an angle of 80 because I need to go to the left and a speed of 45 and I was very close to the goal post. So you can probably tweak it a little bit. Yay, Lavina, you did it. 